Hello and welcome. Today we have what I consider to be the critical video of the year. Why? Because we are going to see the best division in terms of efficiency, that is cost effective. It's going to be cheap but very powerful. This is a very expensive division and we are going to try to match these numbers but using far less money. But before proceeding, I would like to give a big thanks to all the people that leave comments, like, and especially the ones that take the time to see the whole video. It's very important to me that you find this information useful. Okay, to explain this, I need to go back in time. In the previous video, we saw a template that looked like this. It was designed for a not so powerful nation that you start with just one tank battalion, maybe two, then you can add three or four, like Mexico versus the United States. You don't have too many resources to build several tank battalions. But if you plan in advance to build eight tank battalions and possible ten tanks battalions, you have a much better option. And that option is to use a very cheap tank, since you're going to add in two tanks instead of one, you can compensate the breakthrough. The importance of the breakthrough is that you should have enough breakthrough to match the attack combined of the defending units. So if you have four defending units that deal 200, well, they sum up 800 uh, damage, so you need 800 breakthrough or more. And if you design this expensive tank and you add eight tank battalions, you're going to have an overkill that you have seen in the other picture using all this division. So we are going to design a much cheaper tank that deals damage and have a small amount of a crew, and we are going to add a heavy tank to compensate the lack of armor. Also, since the unit is going to be very big, you should replace these two, but these two companies. These two companies gives you extra 10% combined with the fire support doctrine, but it's nice if the vision is not so big like this one, but if the thing is going to be going to be big, you need the logistics and you probably need the maintenance of hospital. This will increase your level to elite, you will lose less XP, and this one will save you a lot, but a lot of tanks. So in this scenario, if you check the equipment, you are using the cheap tanks, but we keep the armor points of the other division because we have a heavy tank, it's a Tiger tank, and we have a decent breakthrough. So we are going to see the, the design of the tanks, and here are the designs. The other division that uses expensive tank with a lot of breakthrough uses this model, Panzer IV, that costs 21. And the new division uses this model that costs just 10, so it's much, much cheaper. It's the Model C, and we are also adding a Tiger tank that costs 31. So we are changing 10 battalions that cost 22 by 9 battalions that cost 10, and just one battalion that costs 31. So you are saving a lot of money. So this is an expensive model when you are going to be using few battalions like in the previous video because it has a lot of breakthrough. But if you don't want to use this and you want to make things cheaper because you're going to use a, a heavy tank instead, use the cheapest wielding, replace the transmission for the standard ones. Also, we're using the standard engine. We are going to remove all the speed points. We are going to remove the armor points. And we are going to replace this by the easy maintainer that give us reliance and re reliability and also lowers the cost of the unit. And here we have it cost just 9.5. But this is the cheapest way to give the unit breakthrough. So we are going to give a little bit of breakthrough. Very cheap. We don't need to adjust the transmission because it's still cheap. And we, we have the speed that is over 6.4. So this we can add a little bit, but I want to keep the reliability at 90-85%. If you use the maintenance company, you can keep it at 85 If you are not planning to use the maintenance company, try to keep the maintenance at 90 because 95 is the optimal. So this division, this tank, is very cheap and does a lot of damage and also has a nice amount, amount of breakthrough. If you check breakthrough, 38. So if you are going to be using 10 of this battalion, sorry, 9 of this battalion, you are going to have enough enough breakthrough. And now let's take a look at the Tiger tank. So this is the Tiger tank, 32 production, so it's just 10 more points than the medium tank, the expensive model, but we are using the improved heavy cannon, two mentarot for giving us breakthrough, radio for breakthrough, two heavy machine, uh, no, no heavy machine guns, we have the, the armor, the improved armor, but now in this tank we want a lot of armor, easy maintenance for more reliability and improved transmission, the standard engine, and we are using the expensive wielding. And in this scenario, we are using seven points and 16. We are using no company. If you have a company, much, much better. You can save money and make the unit more powerful. But we have the objective 6.4 kilometers. That is the speed of the rangers that give us those great bonus. Reliability, it's okay. And um, 
some soft attack, some more hard attack, some extra piercing, and the armor is great. So this is our Tiger tank. And this is the Flamer, all the cheapest options, no points anywhere, and just the Flamer and a lot of fuel, because the companies cost one third, but the fuel is the standard as a line battalion, so we are using this exploit to provide the units with extra fuel. With the anti-air, same thing, cheapest tank possible, anti-air machine gun improve, and two heavy machine guns to provide some extra damage, it's always good, and easy maintenance makes the tanks cheaper, so a very cheap tank, 8.7. And the anti-tank, we are going to do the same, we are going to transform this in the cheapest tank possible. And here we are, fixed turret, improved heavy cannon, two heavy machine guns for more damage, and this for more piercing, the easy maintenance, and all the cheapest options, no exp experience expenses. So we have a cheap tank, it's about 11.7, and of course you make this tank destroyer. So this is kind of the final design and just make sure that in equipment you are using the correct equipment. For example, in medium tanks we are using the Panzer 4C instead of the 4 or the name you put, you use. Don't pay attention at this number, this is not the correct value. When you have several types this is not the correct number, it's not updated. Well, this is kind of the final design. So you have the rangers. This unit will work very well in mountains, plain, forest because of the flamer tank. So everywhere, basically. And it says 6.4, but thanks to the rangers, it will move uh, at 6 uh, quite fast everywhere. Other units that says 8 kilometers with a standard um, company, recon company, it will not move that fast. So it's kind of compensating the slow speed. And it's kind of a no round unit super powerful and you can build this with a medium sized country and that's all on my side thanks for being there and i would like to hear from you guys have a great day bye bye